so today is the day. It's my pretty lavish launch. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I have a collection with Pretty Lavish and it is launching today. I actually took all the shots for it back when we went to Positano. Um, we were kind of half working on that holiday. When we booked Positano, we didn't realize um, that I was going to be doing that, but it just fell in so perfectly with the theme of the collection and kind of the summery vibe we were trying to achieve. So we thought what better place to shoot all the collection than in Positano. So today is Monday the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day to all my American subscribers. Um, probably a bit late now this video goes live, when this video goes live. But um, we, it's, it's launch day, as I said. We've got ourselves a launch meal, which I'm so excited about. It's a lunch at the Ivy with fellow influencers and I just feel so grateful that they're coming along to help support the collection. So I'll take my vlogging camera with me and show you bits and bobs of that too. I'm so, so excited. This is part of the collection and in this video I'll show you other pieces from the collection too. This beautiful black dress, you all know I'm such a big puff shoulder kind of gal and also I talk all the time about finding those basic pieces with a twist interesting points of detail so we've got the neckline we've got the puff sleeves we've got the cutout we've got the split here all these little details go into making this dress feel really special despite it being a really really wearable versatile black dress and i think the same goes for all of the collection anyway we're just about to head out to the lunch freya is being dropped off here first she can only get a lift in now so she's going to come in with me um to the event I'm gonna get an Uber over and yeah, I'm just so excited for it all. Um, it launches at seven o'clock tonight. So um, yeah, just so excited uh, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so here she is. There I am. In the collection, wearing our gorgeous white dress. It looks so nice on you. I just feel like this is a Freya piece. 100%. We should have called it the Freya. Oh, God. We should have. How nice would that have been? Yeah, no, I'm I really think it's very dress. you, and it's just like, it's just an easy piece, isn't it? Yeah, I was saying, I like the fact that I can just do baby, whatever. Like, when we, we had a photo, I, like, I don't even know how to pose because I can just breathe out. You can just be loose. Yeah. Breathe it. Yeah, but you could I'm wear good. that like with a heel if you wanted to. Yeah, definitely. Or with sandals. Yeah. Really sandals. I like have got doing. a blazer. Yeah. Um, just to throw over in a, like a basket bag. Yeah. Possibly. No, it looks really nice. I just thought lunch, I was like casual, but we are kind of going to the Ivy. Yeah, so no, it's, hard, it's a bit of a tricky so one. Especially on a Monday as well. Yeah. Maybe on a Friday. Friday. I've just gone for a heel because, you know, why not? Oh, so nice. we're going to get an Uber over now to the event. I don't you know if they're... Are this, Timothy? I'm only joking. <laughs> no pressure. We'll get an Uber. So we're going to, yeah, head over to the event and then I probably won't speak whilst we're there because I always feel a bit awkward. Well, we'll be... We'll, we'll do a bit of... Night. I'll try and get some footage. Um, But yeah, I'm excited. Mm. I'm quite hungry now as well. Yeah, so as I regretted usual. having two pieces sent this morning. I should have had one. one. Yeah, you should have done a one. Because we're having three quarters. I know. Probably be quite light. Though. I thought that with the other. And also, we're not starting till one. So yeah. by the time we've eaten, I'll be hungry. I'll <laughs> eat it. I'll eat it. <laughs>
cameras to my proper setup. Um, today is the following day after the launch. It's a Tuesday. We launched at seven o'clock last night and we're already sold out of some pieces. So I won't be showing you those. I'll just show you everything that's still in stock because there's still plenty to choose from, from the collection, but we're so, so pleased with how it's going so far. So thank you if you have placed an order. Um, so what I thought I'd do is continue the video on from yesterday. Um, we had the event, which was just honestly so, so lovely. Really, really nice group of girls. And actually we don't have many events in Manchester anymore. So it's really nice to be able to get together um, with people that I've not even met before um, who live in Manchester and do the same job. So um, it was just so lovely. I've maybe followed them on Instagram for a while and then we've we finally got to meet. So it was really, really nice. And people I already knew as well, all together in the same room. It was just so lovely and I'm so grateful that um, everyone came and just, it's so nice. I know everyone's so busy, so I was so appreciative that they took time out of their day to come to the launch and it all went really well. I had a lovely meal and yeah, it was just such a great day. But I did want to talk through on YouTube properly about the collection. You may have seen more on Instagram. What I'm gonna do here is show you all the pieces actually on in real life. I know it gives you a bit more of a feel for the piece itself and kind of explain how I'd style and what I love about the piece. So let's just get into it. So I'm going to be starting with the Faris belted mini dress. That is this piece here. And I feel like because this has kind of got the structure of a slightly more formal dress with the collar and the cap sleeve, it really can cross a few boundaries and you can kind of style it up and make it quite smart or you can make it a real kind of summer easy dress. So the way I'm styling it here is just with a raffia bag and some sandals, just a really easy way to throw this dress together. And with the buttons, you have a bit of versatility as well. And I think that's the same throughout the collection, such versatile pieces, but you could do it up to the top, make it a little bit more formal. This kind of reminds me of like Audrey Hepburn, Roman holiday vibes, especially when it's done up. Um, I love that kind of boxy neckline um, and then the cap sleeve, but you could also undo it and keep it nice and loose and open. And I just also wanted to show the versatility of this dress again, um, just by combining it with slightly different pieces. As I say, you can kind of make this a little bit more formal because of the structure of the dress. Um, it just looks really cute with a pair of ballet flats. Again, it's a kind of nod to the 1950s, which I think you'll probably see kind of emulate throughout my style. You'll have seen that nod to the past and the 50s um, before, a little bit 60s as well, late 50s, early 60s maybe, but uh, I think with some ballet flats, it looks really cute and a bit more of a structured bag you could pair with it and you could even swap the belt out if you wanted to. You could wear it completely without the belt. You don't have to wear it with the belt or you can mix it up and put your own belt with it. So there are multiple options of wearing this piece. It also comes in this gorgeous kind of warm, creamy shade. This is such a beautiful summery color. But again, just another way of showing you how to wear it. I've got it with some structured loafers here. And I think because we've got the structure of um, the shoulders and the top half, it creates that really nice balance if you wear a slightly more structured shoe with it like a loafer and you could put it with more of a kind of boxier structured bag like the one I'm wearing with it here. And I think it instantly transforms it into like a kind of city dress more than a summer dress. So it is really one of those versatile pieces. I love the double front pockets with it. And again, the belt, you could take this off if you wanted to or cinch it in at the waist with the same belt and keep it nice and streamlined. And I think either option is really, really versatile. So it totally depends on your preference. I think you can wear them both in different ways. Next is the Benny play suit. And this is a linen cotton blend. Um, the other two dresses, by the way, were 100% cotton. So everything's really nice and breathable for the summer season. Um, but I love this. I think this is up there with one of my favorites. Again, this really nice kind of butter color. It's just a pure yellowy, buttery, creamy shade. And I just think it's gorgeous. I, I think I've mentioned this in a recent video, but I'm kind of gravitating a lot more towards play suits and jumpsuits, um, just because they're so easy to throw on and they look instantly cool. What I love about this is this kind of granddad collar style without an actual shirt. It just feels a little bit different while still keeping that structure there. And yeah, the long sleeves for me, I always would go for a longer sleeve 
with a pair of shorts anyway. So I feel like that's a really nice balance with the actual play suit style. I also think it's really, really flattering because you've got this nice gathered waistline here. And again, you could wear this maybe with loafers like I did with the dress, but also some strappy sandals. You could dress this up on holiday for evening. I think this would really look great with a red lip and some statement earrings with a clutch bag, or you could go for more of a kind of beach tote. But either way, it's a really easy one to throw on and it instantly looks chic. Next is the Vera dress, which is 100% organic cotton. And this is just a beautiful piece. It's sold out in the small at the minute. Um, but as far as I know, as long as it's not sold out by the time this video goes on, the extra small and medium are still available. And I do think because it's quite a loose flowing dress, it's one of those things that you could kind of vary your sizes a little bit. Um, I think I could easily go for either the medium or extra small in this and it would look fine um, because it's, you know, loose and flowing. It doesn't really matter. Um, so this is gorgeous because it's like the same on the front and the back. Um, it ties up at the back like that. So that's the front. Um, it ties up at the back and so it kind of like keeps it together rather than the V like slipping. You all know I'm a huge fan of a puff sleeve. It's got a puff sleeve and I think that's complemented really nicely by the V-neck and also the ruffle hemline at the bottom is beautiful but at the end of the day this is the most simple beautiful white dress and I always say when you're looking for your basics to go for those pieces with a difference I think I mentioned this in the vlog yesterday but pieces with a difference so just look for those little details like a puff skirt puff skirt puff sleeve or the frill around the bottom um, just so small little bits of details um, really can enhance this and what you could do with this dress is you can wear it in the evening on holiday I think this would look great with some statement accessories you could add some color to this or you could add some really great earrings red lip again you could add heels with it if you wanted to or wear it with flats and then for the next day you could just wear it around the pool or if you're doing kind of a beach club or something like that it makes quite a nice cover up because it's still loose and flowing and you can just wear this day and night. So this is the Harry blouse and skirt and I also have it in brown. Um, this is the next piece I'm gonna be talking about. In everything I got a size eight and a size small apart from the Jude dress which I believe is kind of getting sold out now but um, I got that, I need to size down in that to a six. So anyway, back to this piece. This I think is one of my favorite pieces in the collection. I'd say it's up there in my top two. I don't have an actual favorite piece, so I've got a few at the top that are my favorites, but this is certainly one because I think the color is just amazing. It's like this pistachio, oh, it's just gorgeous. It's a real nice summery color without feeling in your face. It's not neon, that is so not me. Um, I think with, the, with it being the block color, it just makes it really versatile as well again this is the linen and cotton blend so lovely and breathable holidays in the evening but also i think if you're going out for a night out pop this with a pair of heels and a clutch bag and it looks really cool i think it's nice to wear something like linen or cotton in the evening it just feels a little bit different than like an actual going out outfit um, so yeah, you could wear this in the evening or daytime and it's so versatile because you can just wear this skirt with a crisp white shirt or a tank top with white t-shirt would look great with it. So I always think with a set you get way more for your money and the same with the top. So I'm going to show you my next outfit how you can wear this top with the trousers. So these are the Marlowe trousers. Again, such a versatile piece. I mean, you cannot ever go wrong with a pair of white linen trousers in your wardrobe. I mean, this is just a wardrobe, summer wardrobe staple. And what I love about these in particular is that they're not too long. The amount of trousers I've had recently that have been ridiculously long. I even think, you know, for a six foot model, they would be too long. So um, it's really nice to have a pair for me that just skims the floor really nicely so you can wear them with sandals without feeling like you're drowning in fabric. Um, I tend not to wear, say if I'm wearing these on holiday, I wouldn't pair them with a heel. So it's really nice to have them at that length. I'm five foot six for reference as well. So if you wear a bit shorter, um, you could easily wear these with a heel um, and they'd be the perfect length for you as well. Really useful pair. They've got belt loops too, which is always a winner, but they look great just worn with this top. But you can also wear them with some of the more simple tops we've got in the collection. Again, just a crisp white shirt with this 
um, and some sandals and you've just got yourself a winning outfit. I mean, these, they don't need any more explanation. I feel like they'll just go with absolutely everything in your wardrobe. So let's talk about the Blair shorts and the Jameson top. So this, the top has actually sold out mostly in the black and the beige. So the white is left, the one I'm wearing today. Such a beautiful piece and I can see why it's sold out because it's a classic basic, but with it being one shoulder, something a little bit different, but the knitted fabric of this just kind of makes it feel a little bit more casual and therefore more wearable for daytime, but for nighttime as well, you could definitely dress this up. I know some of the girls um, were wearing it yesterday. They looked amazing. I've seen some of the influencers we gifted looked amazing in this and, style, and it's just so amazing to see the collection styled in all these different ways to really kind of showcase how versatile these pieces are. And what I'll do as well is on my Instagram, I'll do a pretty lavish highlight so that you can see, um, I'll kind of put all my reposts in there from all the other girls so you can see how they've styled it as well for some more inspo. This top, yeah, as I was saying, so easy, so versatile, throw on with anything, throw on with a pair of trousers or throw on with the Blair shorts as I'm wearing here. These are the cream version. Now to me, these, I've just been dying to wear these. I feel like I've not got a pair of shorts that ticks this box until now. So I've, ever, ever since I've got them, I've just kind of wanted to wear them, but I obviously couldn't because it hadn't launched yet. So now I can get wearing them, but they're like the ultimate um, short for me because they tick that box between being a city short and a more casual short. I think with them being 100% cotton, that's what gives them that casual edge. I'd say the same with like all the collection really, it gives it that casual edge, but the more structured shape of the shorts with the darts and kind of more tailored style, waistband, makes them kind of feel a little bit more city appropriate if you did want to wear them in the city. So I've got on the cream pair with the white top, but then I've changed to the more top pair, which again is just a beautiful color. It goes with everything. And I wanted to show you how you could style this in a bit more of a city kind of setting rather than a casual one. So I've kept the one shoulder top on here, gone for a black blazer. You could belt it if you wanted to, you don't have to belt it just because it's got belt loops. I really don't think you have to belt something every time just because it's got the loops. But um, it look, they look great belted as well because they just give you that little bit of cinch, extra definition, especially under the blazer. And then just some black sandals to finish it off. So I think this look just shows how you can take these more slightly more casual pieces or slightly more summery pieces and give them that kind of structured feel so you could wear them out and about in the city in the daytime. You could dress these up for night if you wanted to, or you could wear them on holiday or just want on a warm day with a white shirt if you wanted to, with the one shoulder top. So many ways to wear these and they're a real, again, a real wardrobe staple. So we have talked about the Benny, but I did just want to show that the Benny also comes in black as well. So again, really, really versatile. I think with the black, you could maybe make it work for evening slightly more if you wanted to. But I think all of these pieces that we were talking about this yesterday, they are so versatile in that you can really dress them up and down um, without looking too overdone. Um, so this would look really great. Again, in the evening, red lip, pair of heels, you're good to go. But also in the daytime, a nice pair of flat sandals, a basket bag, big sunnies and it's just such a simple piece and I already have expressed my love of the play suits. Finally, we have the Celine crochet sets. So we've got this in a brown and also the white. So again, really versatile in that it's a set so you can wear these pieces separately, but together they're just so easy and I think it's really nice to kind of combine knitwear for summer. Um, and make it work because it is just so easy and breezy, this um, outfit. I wore it whilst we were in Positano and because it's got the split up the skirt, it feels quite light and the top is just so, you know, it's only got like the body bit and the straps. So it's so easy to wear on a warmer day. Again, you could make the sets work um, really hard for your wardrobe, pop them with a shirt or a t-shirt, the skirts, and you've instantly got a new outfit. The same with the top. You could put that with some wide leg trousers and it's a new piece altogether. So again, that's definitely a common theme that's run throughout the collection is the versatility of every single piece. So talking about that, I just wanted to show the white set and how you could actually make this work 
for evening, although it feels, I think, with it being crochet, it feels slightly more daytime. You can really dress this up for evening, pop a blazer over your shoulders, clutch bag and heels, and you've instantly got yourself a really chic, going out evening look that look doesn't look like you've made too much of an effort. So a really chic, all around a piece, again, that you can work in so many different ways. So I will be leaving a link down below to shop my collection with Pretty Lavish, but as I say, it is selling out quite quickly. Some of the pieces I've not shared because they are sold out. The black dress that I wore yesterday is now sold out, um, but there's lots to go out there already. I hope you enjoy shopping if you do. Um, as I say, I think everything will work really, really hard in your wardrobe um, and they do ship internationally too. There's more information about that on their website. So thank you again for watching. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.